Hey guys, in other news, I'm still alive. Yes, I have a heartbeat and I'm here today to take you through a 15 minute workout through yoga. And this adventure will take you on releasing tension in your upper thoracic and around your shoulders. I hope you're prepared because I know for three months that you've been repeating yourself over and over again because you're completely in love with me. And that's okay because I'm in love with myself too. Stand onto your mat. Roll the shoulders down and back. Ground yourself and let's awaken the breath. I hope you haven't forgotten. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, out and down. So begin to sound like Darth Vader. Inhale. Is the force still strong with you? Exhale. Inhale, rise. Exhale, out and down. One more to make five. Inhale, lift. Exhale. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, bend your knees, come down towards the earth, whether it's the morning, the afternoon, your hamstrings are probably tight. Inhale, lift. Exhale, out and down, samasi to he again. Inhale, lift up. You can take those feet hip distance apart. Exhale, fold forward, shoot the hips back. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, out and down. Inhale, energy rising. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale, lift. All right, we're going down. Exhale. Staying here, down. So as you're down, don't look up to the camera to see if you can get a shot of my butt. What I want you to do is keep your head down because you're not missing anything. Hold on to your forearms and just begin to draw the crown of the head further down towards the earth and just relax your shoulder girdle. Continue that breath, even though I'm not doing it. And the reason why you're continuing that breath because you'll get more length by inhaling, pressing your belly out, and then exhaling, drawing your ribs down towards the earth and relaxing the tongue to the roof of your mouth towards the Javandar Banda. Inhale, look up. Now exhale, step back right and step back left. Come onto all fours and we'll just stay here for 45 minutes. Don't move. Okay, inhale, lift your heart forward. Exhale, coil. Inhale, pull the spine forward through extension and flexion. And now pull it up into a hyperflexion, arching up. Inhale, heart forward. And exhale, coiling in. This is wonderful for you, especially to get really tight around the lines of that interior line of the anterior certasis. You want to continue to open up the heart and press your pectoral muscles forward. And maybe through practice, you'll become more body aware and you'll notice if you're unbalanced or cacked up. And you might be like, lady, I'm already cacked up. Tuck your toes under, pull it back to an extended downward facing dog. It doesn't matter whether or not your heels touch the ground. And then inhale, rock forward, press the knees back onto the earth, open up your heart. And then inhale, exhale, take it back. Five more times, inhale, bring it forward. And exhale, it's okay if your head gets red. Just pop it down, <laughs> lift, and then arching back. Bring it forward, inhale, and exhale. And the reason why you're continuing that breath is you wanna keep the tapas, the energy line burning inside. And one more, inhale, bring it forward, and exhale. Inhale, coil up. And exhale, undulating the spine, bring it forward. All right, cross your ankles. If that's too difficult for you to roll through, you can take your feet to the side. Roll through. I'm gonna shimmy down towards the middle line of the mat. And begin to lift up into a bridge. This is really great if you have frozen shoulder as well. So be aware and cautious though that your feet aren't going out right and left because over time that will go into your knee and it won't feel very good. There's something called a meniscus there and the meniscus riscus, all right? Roll the shoulders down and back, inhale, lift up high, squeeze just little bitty baby bridge, sop through, and then exhale to come down. Now inhale, take the arms back, reaching up, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. If you start to sway your hips to one line, you can put your mat up against the wall, especially if a lot of the weight is going over towards the gluteus medius and medius. And we don't want to do that. Down, inhale, don't worry, you'll be quizzed later. And bring it back in. Inhale. 
and exhale. Five more, inhale. And exhale, the number of constructive freedom, inhale. Exhale. And in the zodiac, it's your house of early, mid-teenage years in your life. Exhale. And creativity. Lift. And exhale. Lift. And exhale. Now give me two. One. So if you get extra one, congratulations. Oh no. Lift. And exhale. Beautiful. Rock up. And as you rock up, you can stay in the posture we just did, meaning heels are here, you're lifting up. You can give yourself a challenge by interlacing your fingertips and holding it there. Or you can lift up and take the fingertips onto the flesh of your lower back. <laughs> Sorry. Someone's supposed to come around and fix my garments for me. Now, if you're in your full shoulder stand and your full Shavangasana, you wanna make sure that most of the weight is on your biceps and not really coming towards the line of your neck at all. Also, you wanna make sure that your toes do not come over your knees. The reason being is because it will go into your neck and then you'll be like, that was a great video. I love you, MJ. This is the reason why you're a pain in the neck. And that's not the goal. As you exhale, bend the knees, roll it down, slow and steady. If you're lucky, your upper thoracic spine just popped like mine and it felt absolutely delicious. If not, well, you have to do it again, okay? So it might happen. Lift up. Now, don't be scared. Six breaths, and then we're gonna go over our shoulders with our feet. Hold it there. Keep breathing. If you don't breathe, you'll turn blue. Three, two, and one. Now gently, your feet might not touch the ground. If they don't, it doesn't matter. If they do not touch the ground, one thing you can do is before you start to play this game called yoga, you can take two blocks, maybe one, behind you. Put it in there. And we go back. This never happened. They were already there. And you can go like this. And it takes some pressure off of you. And then you can see whether or not the shoulders are realigned how lost in the plow pose. You might notice that your desk job is still in one of your hip sockets. So you want to squeeze your glutes together and really ignite the energy of your mula bandha, your root block in your body. And as you exhale, release the fingertips down, slowly roll it out, inhale, and exhale to come back down. If you're already down, well, I guess you beat me there. Roll the shoulders back, squeeze up high. Now take the thumbs just under the lines of the hip adductors. So you're opening up the thoracic spine even more and elongating through that lumbar line of your lower back pressing the energy through just below the belly button towards Manamaya Kosha. And what is that? It's the energy line just that shows us the reason why we put on weight in our belly. So the mind, the cortisol levels in that area of our body. Keep squeezing your butt, keeping the glutes engaged. Don't let these knees flare out like mine. And exhale, release it down. Inhale, and exhale. All right, curtsy to the side, bring it back and stand onto your knees. If this is uncomfortable for your knees, you can roll your mat up. I'll be like, no, mm-mm. We'll hold it here and inhale, lift. This is similar to a Tibetan right, and then exhale to come down. Inhale, don't worry, we're not praying to Allah. And exhale, Allah, <laughs> not happening today. Exhale, that's on the next video. Mm -hmm. And then that time um, when I grew that beard, you remember that mark? Yeah. Inhale, lift. It's okay, that's the reason we have razors. Exhale, inhale, rise up. And exhale, home and lift. <laughs> Make sure you're facing east. And exhale, inhale, rise. And exhale, it should feel good on your shoulders. <laughs> lift up. And exhale out and down. Huh. All right, move this little thing out of the way if you're all dramatic, if you're cool like that. Come all the way down onto your belly. 
Now, a lot of times the reason why our upper thoracic spine can get tight, our upper back, is because our lower back bothers us and we have this thing called a sway back. So we have a nice curvature in our spine, so the butt looks very nice. However, over time, the lower back does not like it, so it might affect one shoulder or two. So come down here, bring your chin forward. Do not do this as you lift your legs, so I'm not gonna look at you anymore. Chin is forward and lift your right leg up only. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Now, if that's difficult for you, what you can do, I'm gonna go off the set. Let's take a blanket. <laughs> Roll that blanket up, put it right underneath your hip adductors. If it starts to feel uncomfortable in, you know, those safety pocket areas, you can readjust it. Come back down, lift. So that helps. This is going right into that line of that monomyocosia in my lower belly, right here, and I do not like it, but hold it there, right until your face turns purple. Once it turns purple, then let it continue to make its way throughout the rainbow. Soon it will become blue. Maybe it will turn yellow. Maybe you'll throw up. That's also called a baya. I'm not turning. <laughs> so maybe it's a new thing that you've never heard of before, but please don't throw up. Inhale, lift. Hold it there, strong. So you'll feel even sometimes it come across the other side. Right now I'm feeling this left leg hit over towards my right side. I don't necessarily like it, but it's a good thing. Exhale, it's like yoga cough medicine. Inhale, right again, lift. Keep smiling, keep breathing. Notice that most of your breath is up in your upper lungs. You wanna make sure the belly's still inhaling, pressing it out, and then exhale, pulling navel to spine. Inhale, strengthening that lower back. Oh, this is not fun. You should do this and talk as well. And exhale, all right, now both legs lift. Don't push it too much, don't be too much of a show off, just lift here. Once you lift there, breathe, 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 stay with it. Five, four, three, two, one, bend your elbows in, lift your heart, come up into an upward facing dog, and exhale, lower back down. Again, right leg lifts up, squeeze, 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 into the midline. Don't tuck your toes under your opposite foot to help because otherwise there's no point. And then exhale to release it down. Inhale, lift up. <sighs> Make sure you don't have anything to eat before doing this. Because, uh, yeah, not good. And down. Now here we go again. Lift, 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 lift. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Five, four, three, two, one. Exhale. Bend and reach. Open up your heart. Exhale, pull back. <clears throat> don't stay here. Take your blanket away, cross your ankles or curtsy to the side, come all the way back down towards the earth, inhale and exhale. All right, here we go, you ready? Inhale, Saptu, Savangasana, or you can lift up into Udra Danurasana, your back bend. It is not your full wheel. Your full wheel is when you're actually Chakrasana, when you're rocking back to take a Vinyasa, and we're not doing that today. Lift up, squeeze. Hold it here. Now, if that's okay, and you're perfectly fine, and you're like, I could do a little bit more, take your arms up, bend at your elbows, make sure there's a perpendicular line from the elbows to the wrist. You don't wanna turn your arms out. Over time, you'll end up having a shoulder injury. If you're already scared, I just now terrified you, just stay here. Otherwise, just lift up. That's once you lift up, and hold it here for five deep breaths. One, two, <laughs> Three, stretch, stretch, stretch. Open up, press your pelvis forward. And exhale, release it down. <sighs> Young back, real age is in spine, so we must do it again. Roll the shoulders down and back, lift up into your queen, hold it there, stop to. Maybe give yourself a challenge and go back to this position here. Otherwise, bend at the elbows, press the crown of the head up and pull. Five, five deep, delicious breaths. <sighs> This is really great for your spine if you have scoliosis as well, like myself. Actually, reason why I'm addicted to yoga is because it keeps me from being in pain. Exhale. And plus, I have family members that roll out my yoga mat for me. Sounds really bad, like, you need to go do some yoga. I'm like, 
dang, okay. Lift, <laughs> hold it here, and rise. Five deep breaths. See if you can walk in further. Keep pressing into it. See if you can lift up higher. Stay with it. Keep opening up your heart, not closing it off. And exhale, release. Huh. Have the vapors, Ashley. I think I got my corset all tightened. Rock up. So what just happened? Huh. I got my hair all messed up, but that's okay. You can always go back to 80s pop. Now we're gonna do a forward fold. Inhale, exhale. Next week we are offering Kelly Kapowski doing yoga. <laughs> Keep breathing. So I'm taking this deep extension. Even if you cannot touch your toes, it doesn't matter. Whatever flexion you went into with your back, you need to go through an extension. Otherwise the sound of pop will happen to your spine and that's not really good. No, mm -mm. all the king of men and all the king of horses could not put you back together again. Or maybe I cord. I don't know. Exhale, release out. Just for safety sakes, come down. And we're gonna do some abdominal stuff. Of course, why not? It wouldn't be like my channel if we didn't do this, okay? So come up and extend out. Lift and extend. Lift and extend. Lift and extend. Four more, one. Down. What is going on with my hijacked ponytail? And down. Lift and down and lift and down. Now here, Lift and feet come down. Lift and down. Smile the whole entire time. Don't worry, I'm not gonna fix your teeth. I'm not a dentist. And down, so don't smile too hard. And exhale. Lift and exhale. Lift and release. Two and one. Ha. Huh. Release out. Rock forward. Say some prayers. Om, om, shanti, shanti, om, om, down. Again, back to the shoulder girdles. Lift, up, squeeze, squeeze. Your butt should be strong by now. And exhale, lift, and exhale. This also prepares you if you're practicing your Dhanurasana floor bow to help open up that upper thoracic and ignite this lower part of your body to help get that lift and that posture. If you don't know what that is, it doesn't matter. Lift. Down if you do, if you send me a card with a gift certificate in it that says free brownie at some Mexican restaurant, I'll go get it for you, even though they don't have brownies. It's gonna be kind of weird. Down. And exhale. Oh, my butt is now strong. Rock forward. This is the time where you breathe and go to sleep. So inhale on the number 10. Exhale on nine. Inhale on eight. And exhale on seven. Relax your head. Inhale on the number six. And exhale on five. Inhale on four. And exhale on three. Inhale on two. And exhale on one. Inhale, just be. Namaste.